The subscapular skin fold is measured with the subject standing upright, shoulders relaxed, and arms hanging loosely at the sides. The technician stands behind and gently palpates the inferior angle of the right scapula, which is to say the lowermost tip of the triangular bone. A mark is made on the inferior angle of the scapula. The technician gently lifts a fold of skin in subcutaneous adipose tissue with the index finger directly above and medial to the mark at the inferior angle of the scapula and with the thumb reaching toward the spine. The skin fold forms a line extending diagonally toward the right elbow. The jaws of the caliper are placed perpendicular to the length of the fold, two centimeters from the fingertips, with the tip of the top caliper jaw directly on the mark at the inferior angle of the scapula. The suprailiac skin fold is measured at a point anterior to the mark previously made to measure waist circumference. The subject stands in an upright position with weight evenly distributed and feet together. The examination gown is held so that the waist area on the right side is exposed. The technician's thumb is placed on the intersecting marks and the index finger is placed above and anterior to the mark. The skin fold slopes downward at approximately a 45 degree angle toward the pubic symphysis. The tips of the caliper jaws are placed approximately two centimeters below the fingertips. For the biochromial breadth measurement, the subject sits upright with a noticeable curvature in the lower back. The shoulders are relaxed with the hands resting on the lap. The technician stands behind the subject the shaft of the broad blade caliper rests at the base of the thumb and index finger of both hands. The technician uses the middle fingers to palpate the ridges of the acromial processes. When the lateral borders of the acromial processes are located, the bars of the sliding caliper are placed directly on them. The shaft of the caliper is aligned parallel to the shoulders. Pressure is applied to compress the soft tissue without inducing pain. The maximal breadth across the lateral borders of the acromial processes is measured in centimeters to the nearest millimeter. <laughs>